Officers from across the Commonwealth, from Newport News to Henrico County, are coming together to talk about PTSD, depression, and suicide. One of the officers I spoke with recently lost two of his teammates, and Richmond Police Department has seen two officers take their own lives in just the span of two years. In a small classroom building at Pocahontas State Park. And get them some help immediately. Police officers from across the Commonwealth share a conversation about law enforcement's mental health crisis. Police officers go through 188 traumatic experiences or incidents in their career versus the citizens one to three or one to six. Chris Saunders is a peer support specialist with Richmond's police department. We've seen a lot of stuff in 2023 and I've I've talked to a lot of people about things and I've talked to a lot of other officers about the incidents and I've talked to people about my part in it as well because I have to let it go too. Saunders says in the past two years, two officers with Richmond Police have taken their own lives. The pain of loss is one many officers, like Lieutenant Randy Rajkumar, has come to know. Unfortunately, I've had two good friends of mine on my in my career uh, on this agency that I'm currently with um, who have taken chose to take their lives. That's why he and Saunders sat in on the Behind the Badge seminar, learning about the impact of PTSD, depression, and stress from the job. An alarming statistic shared, police officers' life expectancy is about 20 years less than the average citizen. But talking about it, seminar leader Tim Rutledge says, can reverse that trend. Finally, the stigma's gone, and we're talking about it, and cops are living as a result. The help that we get to preserve our lives so we can better serve the public and continue in the profession that we chose and we love. It's important. Now, many departments across Virginia are still grappling with staffing shortages here in Chesterfield. Positions are about 96% full. There are still about 20 open positions. Officers say this kind of training can not only help recruit people, but also help retain officers who have been here for decades. In Chesterfield County, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.